Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. And this is a game where the defenses, they need to be on their toes because you've got quarterbacks here, yes, that can throw the football, but they can also run it very well, too. Mobile quarterbacks. Remember, for the longest time, they used to tell the quarterbacks, stay in the pocket. We don't want you outside of it at all. Nowadays, that mobility, truly an asset, and people are game planning for it. As a scout told me recently, we are actually working with what the colleges are giving us nowadays. We got this. What is it? Right They'll run for the first time with Tevin Coleman. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you... Blitz coming, and down he goes. The sack there by Roquan Smith. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. From the gun, here's Newton. He's got a man complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A very well executed play. It goes for 29 yards. They'll run with Coleman on first down. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Throwing on second and 14. Newton, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Well, that was an interesting little chess match there because the offense went empty set. No running backs in the backfield, so they're trying to get people out into a route pretty quickly. But guess what? The defense sees that. They go ahead and move, it, move themselves into a blitzing situation and come right after the quarterback. They have more guys there than they could block. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. They give him 27 yards on the third down conversion. And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home and they'll stop him behind the line. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Out of the gun, Newton. This will be caught by Brown. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. Newton able to use those legs and get past the marker to pick up the first. On first down, it's Newton. Got a man, it's Randy Moss complete. A gain of six there on first. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. 20. Looking to throw again on second down. Newton, and it's caught. Touchdown. Randy Moss there to make the grab. And this offense takes the ball down the field and scores on their opening drive. Gano the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. This is taken at his four. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Now the 
first carry here for Todd Gurley. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. The last run got six, now second and four. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Now Murray off play action. Dancing to his left. He's going to take off with it. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. On first and 10, here's Murray. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. To throw again on second down. Murray. Being chased out left. Now he's going to go deep down the left. It's caught inside the 25. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That one covers 29 yards, first down. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. A 23-yard run, as they are now on the board here in the first half. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Staying on the ground, this time it's Smith. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. They'll get 13 yards for the second play in a row. Back-to-back -to -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now it's new. Got a man. It's Randy Moss. 12 more yards there and another first down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Now a play fake here on first down. Going to throw deep, for, and it's caught. Touchdown. Tyler Lockett, 29 yards. And his guys have taken the lead. Extra point try, good by Gano. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. They're going to get nine here on first down as he gets this one up to the 34-yard line. Nine yards on the run there, and it will take us to the two-minute warning. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. Second and a yard. Murray into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked up by Justin Reed. And the return stops just a little bit shy of midfield at the 48-yard line. LCD with the end of the season comes the announcement of the All-Pro team. And everybody was like, wait a second, Christian McCaffrey's listed twice. Is that a mistake? No, he got it both at running back and flex. Pretty impressive. Very impressive because I think a lot of people thought that 
if you have a running back and a flex position that maybe Christian McCaffrey would go into the flex because he catches the ball so well. And you go ahead. And Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Khalil Mack. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. He finds Robinson. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. Here we go on fourth. And he's going to be taken down. Back across midfield, just across midfield at the 49. Well, it was too far for a field goal try. You don't really gain a whole lot out of a punt, so I don't think you have much of a problem with that, do you? No, not at all. I think it's the right play, the, the exact right play, because even if you want to play defense and pin them deep, you know how hard it is for a punter to, to knock one dead inside the 10-yard line. That's not, a, 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 that's not necessarily easily done, so I think going for it there was the right call. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. That's caught by the big tight end, O.J. Howard. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. The last catch did get three, but they're still left needing seven yards on third down. And this defense rallies, and they stop him short of the first down right near the 24. Four yards on the pickup there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the left hash, this will be a 41-yarder. And Zerline's kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll send you cross town to our studios here in Orlando and check in with the coach at our EA Sports Halftime Report. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. Get ready! The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Seven yards there and a first down. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. It'll wind up being a loss of two, and that'll make it second and 12. And now Murray's going to set up the throw. He's going to fire one deep left sideline. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. They have not gotten him going at all. Trying to spark something there with a longer throw, unable to complete it. But you have to keep trying. He's one of their best playmakers. No matter what it says on the scoreboard, you're always trying to get him the football. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Murray now on first down. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by the pro bowler, Marcus Peters. Nicole Hardman, the intended target. 
Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. Now a play fake, and it's Newton. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. It was Roquan Smith who got his big hand in there to knock it away. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now, and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. Now Newton. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football, and now zapped right back in the other direction. Now here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. This is taken at about the 14. They'll call that a punt of 59 yards. Tough to do better than that. And possession will switch hands first and 10. They'll start out on the ground with Gurley. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. On second down, here's Murray. He's going to dump it off to Gurley. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Murray now. And complete to Zach Ertz. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Murray now, six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and 10. They go with Gurley on first down, but he goes nowhere. They bottled him up for a loss of a couple. A loss of two there, second down. Welcome back live to Orlando as we are just about set to go here in quarter number four. And that is gonna do it for this third quarter of action. On second and 12, Murray will return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. And that one's complete to Gurley. And this defense rallies, and they stop him short of the first down right near the 24. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Murray sets to throw on fourth. It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. But he will be stopped behind the line as he will not come close to the marker. Well, they were looking for a clutch play there on fourth. Unable to come up with it. How about that defense, though, huh? How about that D? Momentum swing. And, you know, I remember playing how much fourth downs were emphasized. You know, because, as you said, it's a momentum play. It's also a big test for you. You know, if people are going to go for it on fourth down, they believe you're not up to the challenge. You want to show them differently. Flushed out right. He's going to take off with it. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. That's a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Newton out of throw. On the screen, this is Coleman. 
And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. So it's our visitors with a football as we get your reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Now Emmett. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll stay on the ground with Emmett. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. On second down, it's Coleman. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Now the defense will bring their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Coleman. So he got three of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Now with just one second showing on the play clock, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. It'll be spotted on the right hash, a 52-yard attempt. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. NFL kickers nowadays, they make things look so easy because normally from this range, about two out of three. And this is not an easy kick. Yeah, 20 years ago, you get where he was in that 50 range, maybe a little over. And it's a big kick, but now we just, if they leave it short, you're like, whoa, what happened? And that's, that's what we have here. Yeah, you're right. 20 years ago, we were saying run some more plays and get closer. Now we think they're definitely within range, and you're exactly right. When it comes up short, there has to be something that went wrong because they have plenty of leg. Murray, one final try. And this is going to be caught. It's caught. And they've won the football game. Sometimes it comes down to one final play, a dramatic, dramatic finish to this one. And no player will ever admit to, hey, this is how I want to win a game. But behind closed doors at night as they're going to sleep, they do think about those dramatic endings. And how about that one? Go up and get it. Hail Mary and sprint to the locker room with a victory that you didn't look like you were going to get. That is the epitome of the highest high and the lowest low in the game of football. The extra point is good. And on the final play of the game, they walk away with a victory. Well, that was a fun game to witness, partner.